An infinite loop happens when you set up a criteria to say, hey, this is when my loop's going to stop, but the criteria was never met. So your loop just keeps on going and going and going. Watch this video to see how to make it stop. So I gotta say, this is kind of a sad video because in the current version of Microsoft Excel, I can't actually demo what I'm trying to show you. Um, basically, so an infinite loop, when it just kind of continues on and on and on, it usually means that a condition hasn't been met. Um, I'm going to create the infinite loop and I'm not going to start it because I can't shut it down in the current version of Microsoft. In older versions, I had some solutions. Um, so we're going to say do until x equals 2. Uh, let's say sub bad loop. And you want to put your code in between the sub and the end sub. And then let's put loop, and then we'll just say stuff happens here because whatever is happening inside of your loop is just the lines of code that are going to just keep repeating. Um, and so let's say that x equals 1. If I hit F8 and I'm running through this manually, it's pretty easy for me to see, oh, well, x is never going to equal 2 because I started out with x equals 1 and I'm not doing anything to change the value of x. Um, but if I was to type x equals x plus 1, then pretty quickly that condition would be met, and I'm outside of my loop, my code stops. Now, if I was to not have this line, this is a bad loop, this condition would never get met, and it would never stop looping. So if I was to hit play right now, my Excel is just going to crash. There's nothing I can really show you. However, um, that's because there's two things going on on my side that are not great. One is that I don't have the pause break um, key on my computer keyboard. If you do have the pause break key, which is usually pre present on a full-size keyboard, you can press Control alt pause break and that should stop your code from running. Or you can hit Escape twice. However, if your program has completely crashed and it is not responding, that may not be an option. But in previous versions of Excel, it worked great. So that, you know, is kind of worth mentioning that it's a not so great feature of the most recent version of Excel. Um, I'm personally a little disappointed that you can't use Escape Escape anymore or that uh, my current Samsung computer doesn't actually have the pause break key on it. But hopefully you can walk away knowing that those are two options. If either you do have the pause break key, control alt pause break is an option. Or if you're on an older version of Excel, then you can hit escape twice. All right, thanks for joining.